So I actually got a call and I was asleep and my alarm never went off. I was actually at work at an engineering lunch and learn and I ignored it because it said it was a spam call. I was actually in class in Lincoln in college and uh, I got a phone call and remembered, okay, I gotta focus on a lecture. I was sitting at home and I got a little buzz on my phone and I read it and I couldn't really believe it for a second, but I was really excited. They tell me, yeah, you got the internship. Like, when can you start? After the phone call was over, I was running up and down the halls. I was so excited. My dad is just a farmer, so he was, he was like, is that good? And I'm like, yes, that's good. <laughs> So one of the things that kind of first interested me uh, working at HDR was just kind of seeing the scope of the projects that HDR is involved with. I was interested in working at HDR because I had grown up knowing that it was one of the biggest engineering and architecture firms. The first day, I actually had a huge checklist to go through. I probably over-prepared a little bit. Um, I really didn't know what I was expecting, but I wanted to be over-prepared than under-prepared. I was super excited to get to know everybody and start my summer, but I was also really, really nervous and scared. I only worked in an academia environment, never in an office corporate type of job. I was also feeling a little bit of probably what I would call imposter syndrome. As soon as we walked in, it was a super welcoming and inviting environment. There was a big group of us, um, and it was fun getting to know people from different disciplines. I think it definitely felt kind of like I was entering this like new period of like adulthood. I felt like we are not actually uh, considered as an intern. We are actually considered as an employee where we are given some sort of responsibilities. We learn from them. Seeing what you've been doing at school and applying it to the real world really makes a difference because it feels like what you've been doing does actually matter and does really like actually apply and affect people's lives out here. We all work together for the same common goal and that is just to make the world better. The culture here fosters a very supportive environment. You feel very safe, you feel wanted. It's sometimes difficult to you know, go ask for help, but that's one of the great things about being here is that they understand. They don't expect you to know everything. There will be roadway people asking bridge people, asking water resources people questions all day long. And it's fascinating to me and, you know, inspires me. It makes me want to be an engineer even more. Like so many things in infrastructure are cross-disciplined. It's important to have those relationships. And so I feel like the company makes a lot of those like organic opportunities to meet and interact with others. My supervisor is great. He's, uh, he's very hands-off when, when I'm doing my work, but he's very supportive when he when it's required, he's always there to help. I've had a great time with the Young Professionals group. We've done some really great outings. and um, It's really cool that HDR really pushes you to, to meet other people. The little intern cohort that we have over the summer, like just that experience of that alone has been great for like getting to know other people in the office. And it's nice to like go get lunch with them or like go to these events that they have planned for us interns, um, like site visits. In a typical week, I might go out and have a coffee with a coworker or with my supervisor. My supervisor and I will have check-in meetings periodically. One of the, one of the most exciting things about this is uh, coming in each day being a little bit different. Sometimes it is a really big thing. It's like, hey, we need this by the end of the day, whereas other times it's, uh, hey, you know, get this to me as soon as you can. Sometimes I'll help out. Um, on a project with another architect. Sometimes I'll be working with the other interns. Um, I went to Chicago and I helped out on a healthcare project, which was really interesting. Some of my favorite moments so far have been interacting with like clients. That's been super cool, because like in the classroom, you get none of that. I didn't expect coming into my internship that I'd be able to do as much field work as I have this summer. Going out to that treatment plant has been a very big learning opportunity for me. The school has given me the tools to know how to learn, but here at HDR, they have really walked me through how to use those tools to be an engineer. Some of the software we use, like, we just kind of touched on it in the class, but like now that I'm actually here, like working on that software, it's already like, I could apply so much more. Like I wish I could go back to like my projects I was doing in school with the knowledge I have now. Coming from school and a research-based type of learning to a more client-focused industry type of learning was difficult at first, but I've grown a lot in terms of thinking in a more practical way and less of a theoretical way. I think that's one of the biggest takeaways that I've learned is 
just be yourself, ask questions. Um, everyone here is trying to help you. They want you to succeed and they want to watch you grow. I feel like everyone when you start out in college, you know, wonders, you know, am I, am I going to make it? And I feel like, you know, getting an internship, especially at a company here like HDR, I just felt a big sense of pride. Uh, I got one year left and I'm making it. If you want to come and you want to learn, a lot about the architecture, engineering, and construction industry, this is a place you can do it. People want to see you grow and they want to support you. 